it and smack it and flip it and punch it around. Oh no! That girl is poison. Oh, I don't know the words. Oh, look at that. So what we have now, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but we've got a nice Italian breaded pork chop. This is a boneless center cut. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Take this other one. We're gonna do the same to it. Let it sit in the freaking egg sauce for a second. You, you, you. How you guys doing? You still with me? Can you guys see everything that's going on? Vibe, uh, maybe you should uh, touch your dick after this to keep the gay vampires away. <laughs> uh, what happened to my stream? Oh, it just fucking went off for a second. The sickness, what is up, man? How are you doing? Where's the fucking potato? <laughs> it's right here, bitch. Uh, oh, yeah. All right, I'm liking how this is turning out, man. This is starting to look really good. So basically, I, once again, I took my pork chop and I put it into my glue. The glue would consist of egg and milk. You don't want your, you want, you want like 90% um, egg, 9% egg, nine parts egg, 1% milk. Does that work right? Whatever, 90% egg, 1% milk. The milk just adds a little bit to it. Um, but what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna dunk the glue to pork chop into our batter, which is the Italian breadcrumbs. Oh yeah. Yes, I may have used a little too much breadcrumbs, but you don't want right to the breadcrumbs, by the way, because you have pork in there. And you can't get trichinosis. Trichinosis hasn't been around in 50 years, so you don't worry about that. Also, all you people who eat pork, well done, fuck you. You want your pork to be medium to medium well, somewhere in the middle with just a little dash of pink. Oh man, it's so much more flavorful and juicy. All right, so here's what we got. Oh yeah, these bad boys are looking good. Look at that, look at that. Oh, it's gonna be a freaking delicious meal vibe. Oh yeah, baby, woo -hoo! <laughs> You guys still with me? How y'all doing, y'all all right? Good, good. All right, we don't need the eggs no more. We're gonna dump them down the sink. Uh, the panko dressings, I'll throw that away in a second. I got it off to the side. It's not in my way right now. Uh, oh, they're nice and soft. Yes. Okay. In case you missed what we did here is we took a little bit of olive oil. We got some uh, garlic cloves. We diced them up nice and small. We lightly seared them. We're gonna take our panko breaded Italian pork chops and we're gonna let them sit in there. We're gonna sear them just for a little bit on each side, maybe five minutes a side. We're gonna bake them off for another 25 minutes. Uh, these are small ones, so maybe 20 minutes in the oven. Meantime, we're gonna cook the rest of our meal, uh, but let's go ahead and get started on this. This is where I might have to uh, yell. Hopefully that, that's not too loud, the fan's not killing you guys. How is everybody doing in the stream? How the fuck is your red ring and your... Why are you playing on a 360 when you're supposed to be watching me cook? VVWB, what's up, bro? This is your boy, Bob, coming to you from the 502 campus since Call of Duty 4. All right, here we go. We're going to turn this up to about medium heat now. You don't, one thing you don't want to do, <coughs> my voice just cratched. God, call me Screech. <clears throat> One thing you don't want to do is you don't want to burn the breadcrumbs. You want to get them lightly brown. Because remember, we're going to bake this off for another 20 minutes in the oven. So you don't want to have too high of a heat when you go to do this part right here. So we're going to, we're going to let it heat up just for a second. Oh, that's looking good. Can you guys see? Oh, shit. Can you see the onion? Can you see the garlic cloves in there? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and gonna lay these bitches in there. You guys ready? On the count of three. Everybody, one, two, three. Cook and whip up. Oh, you can hear it start to sizzle, baby. Woo-hoo! All right. I can crank that up just a little bit. Can you guys see what's going on? I, I'm sorry the light Fuck is Fucking right now, pussy. What the fuck it is. All right, let me go ahead and wash this cutting board off one time. Oh yeah. Oh, here we 
go. Back in action. Oh, a nice little trick in case you guys didn't know. If your cutting board slides all over the place when you're cooking, just get a couple paper towels, throw them down there, lay it down, smash it, the fucking thing won't move. Boom, heads up tip from the number one chef on Black Ops 3. Yeah, okay, we're gonna turn that up. We got that baby going. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get the potato ready. I like to go ahead and cut it up. Make sure you wash your potato off. This has been at the fresh market. You got a bunch of fucking old ladies with their blue hair and touching potatoes. You don't want to have no, what do you call that shit? Mothball smells on your potatoes. Hey, do you guys know what mothballs smell like? How'd you get their little legs apart? <laughs> All right. Got this potato going. We're ready to go now. Vibe knows all the tricks. <laughs> Somebody give me his address. I'm hungry. <laughs> We're going to cut this tater up in nice little slices. Jimmy McSquid. I know this is your favorite part, my friend. <laughs> Boom. I might have too much potato, but you know what? I can eat this stuff again tomorrow. It's no problem. Oh, that one got away from me. God. It's all right. It's all right. You know what? I tell you what. That's enough potato for tonight. I might save this to, for tomorrow. I think I will. I do. I think I will. But I don't have nothing to fucking put it in. Fuck. Oh, come on, man. Oh, I got. I found something. Woohoo! Thank God for Walmart. Fuck, it's too big. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh, vibe. You're killing me. All right, we got a potato. We're going to put it in the uh, fridge. Save that for tomorrow. Let me get my tongs out here. <laughs> He's getting hit markers on the potato. <laughs> No, use the whole tater. You can't save a potato. I can if I save it for tomorrow. Oh, look at that beautiness, guys. You just don't know how good that looks right now. All right, so we got our potato right here. We got that ready to go. And we're gonna go ahead and cut the uh, onion up next. If you guys don't know how to cut an onion up, there's a couple ways. You cut the sides off, the tops off, you cut it straight in half. I like to cut the sides off first. Throw these bitches in the sink. You don't need them again. So now you got an onion that looks kind of like a wheel. Cut it dead in half. Bam! Once you cut it in half, you can easily grab, well, I say easily. You can grab like the whole outer, outer, outer layer and just peel it right off. And you got this nice, nice onion skin. It's beautiful. I think the garlic's making me Making my making me sniffle. <laughs> that or it's the four locos. But look, you can peel that onion right off. You got this nice piece of onion right now. You got look. Oh, oh, I fucked up. There you go. You got this nice onion. See? Beautiful. Now you gotta decide on what you want your onion to be like. You want long thin stripes or do you want big chunks? I like big chunks. So once you do that, you can either cut it in half first, like I just did, and then you can cut it from the side get this beautiful onion look at that thing it's fucking amazing all right so we're gonna save this onion for tomorrow oh yeah all right all right all right hold on hold on oh baby look at those garlic cloves just sitting there looking beautiful oh you guys should see what this looks like holy shit hold on i'll show you Let's see if I can get my phone to agree with me here real quick. Oh, no. No. All right, we still live? Hey, here you go. Look, can you, uh, look. Ignore that little piece right there. It got a little dark on me. I got it too hot, but look, it's, oh my God. Can you see what's going on right there? Look at the beautiness involved. Oh, that's gonna be so good. That's gonna be so good. Fucking A. Oh, what's going on? Yeah. Back, we're back. Yeah. Uh, use awareness to cook. I like to slap my meat. <laughs> the hell's going on? 
Vibe. There's a guy in my window. <laughs> Fuck her right in the pussy. So one of the one of the problems you don't want to do, like I said, is you don't want to overcook. You don't want to um. You don't want to overcook the uh, the breading. You don't want to get the breading too hot. Remember, we're not cooking it here. We're just searing the outsides. So we got a nice garlic seared Italian crust on the outside. We're gonna throw it in the oven and we're gonna bake it off for about 20 minutes. While that's baking off, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cook the rest of the stuff. Therefore, your meal should come out in about 30 minutes, depending on how good the chef is, what he does. If you can get this stuff prepared ahead of time, he don't have to do all this prep and he can just bam, 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 knock it out. Fuck it right in the chefs, pussy. They'll usually have an onion sitting right there. They'll have a potato, whatever they need. And they're on it. Bam, throw it in there. They're searing shit up. They're ready to go. I'm a little slow, so we'll just deal with it. Why are you dead? He looked around, so pan is on fire. <laughs> pan is on fire. All right. I'm thinking I'm getting a little hot. Oh, these are looking so, oh my God, I can feel them firming up already. They're just, oh, these are gonna be so good. Am I gonna eat both of these tonight? <laughs> Maybe. I think we're about ready to go ahead. Fuck it right in the pussy. All right, so I wanna show you guys something. If you say you don't, you're lying. But everybody's got one of these. <laughs> Burnt black piece of shit little, this used to be gray. But everybody's got one of these. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put these on here and bake this off. Oh yeah. Lightly brown. Oh my God. All right, what you wanna do, if you have any type of pan spray or oil, if you don't, you wanna just take a little bit of olive oil on here. You don't want this to stick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now we are talking, baby. Woo! All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw this in the oven, which is preheated to about 325 degrees. I'm gonna bake it off. I'm gonna give it 15 minutes. Let it go. Boom, bada, boom, bada, boom. Step two. How you guys doing? You guys still with me? Fuck you, damn vibe. What do you say? My PC shut down on me. Who, who was talking shit? Nobody was talking shit, I don't think. How's everybody doing? Are we still awake in here? Why is Grumps mad at me? <laughs> All right, so here's what we're gonna do next. I want a bigger pan, hold on. Are you guys still with me? So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna go ahead and throw the potatoes in here with some onions. Probably should go ahead and melt the butter first, but it's okay. We'll be all right. I think I got plenty of time. Jimmy McSquid, you still with me, buddy? Here comes taters, boy. Remember, with the potatoes, it's nothing but butter and pepper. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, baby, we're gonna turn that on about medium heat. We're gonna let that slowly melt the butter first. Next thing we're gonna do is very, very nice. If you guys like um, sugar snap peas, uh, Google my name, bitch. What's up, my nigga? Over 50 viewers. Holy shit, 50 viewer hype with Vibe. So you get these, these sugar snap peas are expensive. I've got um, half a pound right here, 0.52. And it was fucking $4 for this shit. So these things are expensive. If you can, if you don't use all of them, salvage them. They'll last for about three or four days. Uh, they're not bad. Uh, Fresh Market gets them in a big box. It gives them seven days to use them once they get them. So if you guys can salvage them, salvage them. But uh, make sure you go through them because sometimes there are a bad green pea or two. Um, carrots, on the other hand, carrots last forever. But make sure you wash your carrots. Nobody likes a dirty carrot, especially if some girl's gone by and stuck it up her ass or the JJ. 
why she's trying shit on. Shit, we got it, we got it, we got it, we're on her. All right, there we go. So we got my carrots, we got that. Uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a little butter in this pan. And this is Land O'Lakes, that's all I got. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna use. I like it, I like it a lot. We're gonna heat this butter up, make sure we got the right thing going. We're gonna take a brown sugar. Now another way to make this very nice if you got some type of white wine, um, some really cheap white wines work good too, whatever, just give you a nice Chardonnay, so, and put like a teaspoon of Chardonnay into this mixture. But we got a little brown sugar right now which I don't know if you guys know, but brown sugar is amazing. Oh yeah, dunk it in there, baby. Let her go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Put it in there, put it in there. Get in there, bitch. Quit camping, faggot, get out of there. Woo! So, on your mixture, you want about the same amount of butter as the same amount of brown sugar you put in there. Just remember that. And also make sure when you're done with the brown sugar, you close it up the best you can. If moisture gets in there, your brown sugar will be hard as a fucking rock and you won't be able to use it. Heads up. All right. We got this bad boy warming up right here. I probably need a bigger pan for that too, but I just don't have it, so fuck it. We're down to 10 minutes on our pork. I think I can get both of these done. Garlic bread. Garlic bread. Don't let me forget about the fucking garlic bread. All right. Don't need the carrots. We're gonna use one carrot and a couple of those. I'm gonna put these up. I'm done with the butter, so I'm gonna put that butter up. Yeah, I wish you guys could see this. It's a little freaking awesome. Uh, we got a lot of garlic going on, but what we're gonna do with the brown sugar and garlic, you can either add just a dash of salt or a dash of garlic salt. We're gonna go ahead and just add a dash of garlic salt to it. Not a lot. If you have any sea salt, sea salt is amazing too, but what you want, what you want on the snow peas and the carrots is uh, a bit of, I call it grit, just a, a little bit of grit, a little bit of flavor. And does that work for you guys? New series on YouTube for Vibe. <laughs> This is the most hilarious shit I've ever watched. Are you serious? Ah! Oh yeah, baby. All right, so we got this, look at that. Oh, oh, look at that, it's like fucking caramel. Yeah. All right, so we got the butter, it is reduced a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up our carrots. You guys with me on this? Can you guys see what's going on down here? Hey, hey, hey. How do you guys like your carrots? Long slivers or chunks? I like them in long slivers. Let's do it like that. Yeah. Woo, baby. So you cut the carrot in half, and then you don't try to cut long slivers. You just turn it sideways, and you go like this. And the next thing you know, you got these nice little, I think it's called julienne? Julienne? You got these nice little julienne carrots. Baby. And then you get a stubborn one that doesn't want to cut, you eat it. Oh, yeah, baby. You guys want me to make you a duck out of a fucking carrot? I'll do it. By the way, the reason you cut it in half first is so it doesn't roll all over the place while you're trying to cut it. You lay the flat side down. And then you got these beautiful julienne carrots. Oh, yeah! All right, we got eight minutes on the fork. We're gonna go ahead and throw the carrots in there. We're gonna go ahead and grab us a bunch of these sugar snap peas. We're gonna drop them in there as well. Oh, yeah, we're gonna turn the heat up on that. You don't wanna brown, the, you don't wanna brown those. You just wanna make them nice and soft. So you want a nice little slow, 
slow cooker. How you guys doing? I'm sorry if I'm not paying attention to you. Down his pants. Pants on the ground, pants on the ground. Every All right, let's get back to this. Oh, we got a bad one. Like I said, make sure you check your little green. Look, look, there's a booger on that one. See it? That's nasty. You don't want to eat that. It's a booger. <laughs> All right. I wish I could make it zoom in so you guys could see a little better what's going on, but this is about as good as it's going to get right now. Baby, yes, baby. Mm, mm, mm. How you guys doing? You guys with me? So garlic bread is just basically this cheap ass Texas toast shit you can get at the dollar store. But let me tell you what, garlic bread is garlic bread. Ain't no vampires getting my ass tonight. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, boom. Oh, where's the plug? I gotta plug this fucking thing in. Really, dude? Come on, man. Jesus Christ. All right, got that cooking. Boom. Garlic bread is cooking. Um, we got five minutes left. We got a, a light searing going on to the onions and the potatoes. The potatoes you want to cook at a little bit of a medium temperature. You want to soften them up. And we're going to give it another minute. We're going to go ahead and crank the heat up about three minutes ago. We're going to pull the pork out. Which the pork, oh my God, are looking amazing. We're gonna turn the pork down a little bit. We wanna slow cook that a little bit. <laughs> and remember, the, um, okay, we're gonna turn that up in just a second on the, uh, on the potatoes and the onions. We wanna give them a nice little browning, searing. The uh, sugar snap peas and the carrots with a little bit of brown sugar and butter, dash of garlic salt. You don't wanna sear those. You wanna make them soft. So make sure that your heat is not too high. And let those puppies just simmer. Just let them simmer. Simmer. Oh, yeah. And then in the meantime, you grab your drink. Oh, yeah. Cutting board, we're done with that. Don't forget to remove the napkin from the bottom of it. Get everything cleaned up, because we're about ready to eat, boys. We're about ready to eat. We are about ready to eat. Ha-ha. I'm bringing out the good china this time, shit, nigga. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! The purple plate. All right, here we go, 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 here we go. Bam! Ignore that. Oh my God, that smells so delicious. All right, don't forget to burn the garlic bread vibe, you dumbass. Oh, fuck. A good chef can always pick up a broom when he needs to. Don't forget that. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Fuck quick scopers. God wouldn't want you to quick scope. Oh yeah, look at that. Boom. Garlic bread don't burn. Woohoo! Yes. Fuck yeah. Oh my god. This meal is coming together so good, guys. I'm sorry if I'm not paying attention to you, but I got like a I got this food horny boner right now. After you put the butter in the pan, put more butter in the pan. I'm impressed by my nigga's a fucking chef. Lo, lo, lo. Yeah, Google my name, bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, we're going to turn the heat up on the potatoes right now. Carrots, snow peas are getting nice and soft. Garlic bread is browning nice. Um, 
gonna add a dash more pepper to our uh, onions and potato. They're nice and soft. Two minutes on the pork. Oh, yeah, baby, this is how we do it. Uh, uh, uh. This is my happy. This is my happy dance. I'm fucking not really that drunk, but it'll work. More garlic? <laughs> Come on, man. What do you mean more garlic? I got enough garlic in here to kill every vampire movie ever made. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, we're gonna add another little bit of pepper. Yeah, if you put pepper in this with the butter and the cooking it'll it'll uh, the pepper will reduce so it, you think i'm adding a lot of pepper to it i'm not oh garlic bread looking good ow fuck garlic garlic bread looking good oh yeah that's what i'm talking about baby Woo oh, oh oh brown sugar a dash of garlic salt, a little bit of butter, carrots, sugar snap peas. Oh, it, it, it's amazing. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull these pork chops out. I know they're done. Make sure you use heating pads. Oh, look at that beautifulness. Ho, 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 ho. That, oh, my God, they're going to be so good. Yes, baby. Garlic bread is done. Come on, baby, baby, let's go, baby. Ow! Fuck, that's hot. Shit. All right, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. It's only a third degree burn, I'll be all right. All right, let's wash my tongs off, hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo, baby. How you guys doing, y'all ready for dinner? Motherfucker drinks real locos out of can, not an ice like a female. Fuck you, I like to keep my drinks cold, bitch. <laughs> All right, these are done. <clears throat> oh my God, you guys don't know. If you guys want a side dish to go along with any type of steak or pork or chicken, sugar snow peas, snap peas, whatever you want to call them, a little bit of carrots, brown sugar, a dash of butter, and a dash of garlic salt is the perfect meal. I think if you add a little more salt to it, it just brings this taste, bam, right out. Those are done, bam. Pork is done, bam. Garlic bread is done, bam. The potatoes and onions need another second. Fuck. I can just hear Chef Ramsey right now. Your pork's getting tough. Your pork's getting tough. Get out of here. We're gonna go ahead and plate the pork up. Oh my God. Oh, jeez Louise. You guys should see what this looks like. Oh, oh, it's like having it on a plate. Oh, gee, God. Oh, oh, look at the beautifulness. It's just dripping down. It's like heaven sent me a free meal. Look at that. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, my God. I think I'm going to have a food orgasm. Can you guys see what I'm doing right here? Oh, oh, shut up. Oh, oh, God, look at that. That's fucking beautiful. Can you guys see it? Can you guys see it? Oh, I gotta show it to you. Oh my God. Can you guys, can, let me see if I, can you guys see what I'm looking at right there? Look at that. Oh, two pork chops, 
some nice snow snap peas, carrots, onions and potatoes, and some garlic bread. Italian crusted, garlic smashed ass fucking pork chops. Boom, boom, boom. Now you guys gotta watch me eat that shit. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a bite. <laughs> yeah. And make sure this is all turned off. Boom, boom, boom. Kill the fan. I'm so excited. Pork is raw. That pork ain't raw, bitch. Mm. Oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. Look at that beautiful. Look at that. Chef Vibe coming through live. Look at the. You can see a thin line of pink right in the middle of that piece of pork. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm going to eat every bit of this. I'm going to eat two pieces of freaking pork tonight. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, oh my God, guys. Oh, you forgot the bell pepper. No, the bell pepper goes with the, uh, the something else tomorrow night. Yeah. Woo. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at the thin line of pink right in the middle. Mm. Oh. Devonshire, this was Black Ops 3, and then I took a chef break to put my chef outfit on to cook some food so I could eat it and then get back to Black Ops 3 in a little while. Mm. Jimmy McSquid. These potatoes, oh, these potatoes with onions are so good. Patriots, are you watching food porn? <laughs> Oh my God, you guys are amazing. Oh, this is so delicious, guys. Oh! Mm. I wish I could, I wish I could cook for you guys, I really do. I would cook you guys dinner. We could fucking drink beer and play Call of Duty all night long. Oh my God, look at the pink, oh! Oh, the pork is so good. Vibe is going to be joining Glock soon. Why? It's pork with a little Italian breaded crumbs with a little bit of egg around the outside. I cook it in a dash of olive oil with a dash of garlic. All right. Potatoes are cooked with a little bit of butter. Not a lot. Onions. And I got sugar snap peas and carrots, bro. Which, by the way, are amazing all by themselves. That right there is healthy food, isn't it? Oh my God, guys. So what I want you guys to do, oh, there's a thin line of pink. I say that every time. I got this pork absolutely perfect. <clears throat> One of the tricks to cooking a nice juicy pork is you're cooking about 50 to 80%, right around in that range. And then you let it sit for about three to five minutes. You gotta let the juices that are all excited up in the middle of everywhere going, ah! You gotta let them settle back into the meat. Remember what we did there is we seared the outside. We made this rubber bubble around the outside of this pork, which locked in all the juices. So when we threw it in the oven to bake it off, all the juices are in there going, woo, crazy. As Soon as you cut in it, there's a negative pressure and the juices just wanna pop out. You let it sit for three to five minutes. It locks in all the juices and the, the pork is just like melts in your mouth. True Esposora, como estas We're eating with vibe. 
We're cooking with vibe. Trust me, man. Five star food right here. Oh, it's so good. Let me show y'all my happy dance. Woo! Yeah, baby. Oh my God, this is so good. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna leave you guys hanging. The title says, clearly says cooking with vibes, so fuck off. <laughs> oh my God, Red Dead, what's up? Hey, Dream XA, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. You love the hat? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. You're gonna love this one. <laughs> Look at this one. Can you see it? It's some fucking Mickey Mouse, baby. Mickey fucking Mouse. Come on, you think I'm a fake chef? I got all kinds of hats. Bring it, baby. Woo! Fucking right in the pussy. Oh my gosh, guys. <sighs> Man, this is so good. This is the best pork I've had in a long time. Culinary ninja, huh? <laughs> Does Vibe have eyebrows? Yeah, they're there. They're just blonde. I get that a lot. They're blonde. Oh my God, Jimmy McSquid, these taters. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Did I, did I show you what I got? Let's see if I can show you guys one more time. Can you see that? Look. Doesn't that look good? Oh my gosh, the pork is beautiful. The, the snow peas are beautiful. The garlic bread is okay. You know, it's just freezer bought shit. The onions and the potatoes are amazing. Domino, light brown sugar, snow peas, carrots. Boom. Oh my God, it's so good, guys. You've got to try this recipe. I tell you what I'll do. I'll VOD the shit and I'll put a description up with everything, the ingredients and how long you cook things. And I'll send it to my YouTube channel too. Mm. Damn, that's good. Oh. oh my God, and I'm standing up to eat this. You know, a real chef stands up and eats his food, right? Because he ain't got time to sit down. Mm, 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 mm. Everybody enjoy this. Vibe's going to have a heart attack soon. <laughs> He forgot to mention the shitload of butter. It wasn't a lot of butter. I probably used less than a quarter cup of butter. If you cook, if you cook your food at a high temperature, the butter will dissipate, reduce, and you won't have any butter. You're gonna have to add more butter. But if you cook it at medium to high heat, right in there in the medium, your butter is gonna stay there, and you don't have to add butter. So it's not that bad. Butter is basically like a lubricant, like KY jelly or um, Astro Glide, whatever you know, ass lube, whatever you guys decide to do. You know, you put it around there, you slide the shit in. Some of the stuff is water based. Butter is water based, in my opinion, because the hotter you get it, the more it dissipates. But that shit like, um, like Ast Astro Glide and KY jelly, that's just like water based, man. You go at it real hard, you gotta spit on it to make it slicker. But if, I'm trying to eat here, by the way. Um, but if you use that other stuff like ass lube, ass fister, all that other stuff that's, um, Petroleum based? Man, that shit'll last for days. That shit causes heart attacks. Not butter. Get out of here. Fuck off. Mmm. <sighs> this is a cross between Call of Duty, cooking, and drunk sex podcast. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. Mmm. Butter isn't water-based, it's fat. I'm just saying, don't be a smart ass. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm gonna tell you guys what, this pork is amazing. Mm. Fresh market, Italian panko breadcrumbs. 
garlic cloves, milk, eggs, makes your battery, throw it in there, you add it up, slightly pan sear it, bake it off the rest of the way. I'm not gonna give you all the time issue because I remember what I did, but basically, these right here, boom. And I'm not getting plugged by, I'm not giving a plug, I'm not getting sponsored by Fresh Market. Oh, I should be. I bought all this shit from there today, 34 fucking dollars. All right. Oh, it's so good, guys. Listen, I don't know. I probably should end the stream right now and eat my food. Oh, but this is so good. Oh. Mm. oh, man, this is so delicious, guys. I don't know how to say this to you, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I don't know if anybody's been following me tonight. I can't hear nothing. The, the computer's in the other room. So um, if you have followed me tonight, thank you for hitting the follow button. Tomorrow night, we're going to cook breakfast. Um, stay tuned. It's going to be a little applewood smoked bacon, chorizo sausage with a little chorizo sausage gravy and some biscuits. Um and a little bit of toast because we're going to do our eggs a little medium, over medium, medium, a little medium runny. And I'm going to throw some toast in there because everybody knows they like to dip their toast in the yellow yolks. Oh, so good. But we'll do that tomorrow night or we'll do that Tuesday night. I'm not sure yet. But what I'm going to do, thank you guys for watching the stream tonight. You guys are fucking awesome. Don't go nowhere. I'm going to run into the bedroom and I'm going to uh, turn off the stream. Hold on. Let me take one more bite. Oh, yeah. I might be back for some Call of Duty here in a minute. I don't know, but I'm gonna eat this first. Hold on. Woo! Ah! All right, guys, I'm back. Thanks for watching the stream tonight. I love you guys, man. You guys are my top 10 things to do in the world. One of my top 10 things to do in the world is cook food, eat it food and uh, just, you know, educate people. I love cooking. I've cooked over a million meals in the restaurant. I've been a cook for 20 years. So um, I might not show my best, but hey, I do what I do. I love you guys. Thanks for watching the stream tonight. I will see y'all tomorrow night for sure. If I'm not back in about 30 minutes or so. It's your boy Vibe. I'm out. Peace.